curriculum reforms are being undertaken within the national registration framework as informed by Article 53 of the Constitution, which recognizes free and compulsory basic education as a right of every child. In terms of the competency-based curriculum, Teacher Service Commission has been implementing uh, the preparation of our uh, uh, competence-based curriculum by preparing the teachers through what we call a multi-agency approach. What we have done is that uh, Teacher Service Commission being the main implementer of the competence-based curriculum, we uh, train the teachers uh, through the curriculum that has been prepared by the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development and the uh, competence-based assessment content that has been prepared by the Kenya National Examination Council. So what we do, we have, a, we, we have a, what we call a multi-agency training approach where we have uh, involved all the agencies involved in the Ministry of Education. We have the Ministry of Education itself that is the quality assurance officers, officers in the basic education, in secondary education. We have also officers from Semester. We have officers from KISE. We have officers from Teacher Service Commission itself. We have officers um, from KEMI, the Kenya Education Management Institute. And all, the, all of them uh, come together. They do a training which is facilitated by the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development as the national master trainers and also the Kenya National Examination Council and Teacher Service Commission generally coordinates all these institutions. And after that, we go then to the counties. We do the training of trainers, which involve our curriculum support officers, the quality assurance officers in the Ministry of Education and Teacher Service Commission, and, and, and the other field officers that are involved, who then go and train the teachers at the zonal level. We are trying to build their capacity. And I want to say the training of the teachers is not a one-off training. It is a continuous training. We do a five days training. After that, our uh, curriculum support officers, our field officers, our quality assurance officers in the field, both in the ministry and the teacher service commission, go to the schools to be able to follow up what the teachers are doing and offer more support. So it is not just a one-off training, it is a continuous training. And I can say for sure, our teachers have begun embracing the competency-based curriculum and finding out the new uh, innovative ways of teaching. And basically what we are trying to say is that there is improvement in the pedagogical content knowledge of our teachers. So that is something that uh, we are carrying out as the uh, um, Teacher Service Commission. The curriculum reforms are being undertaken within the national registration framework as informed by Article 53 of the Constitution, which recognizes free and compulsory basic education as a right of every child.